In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create a project in Liquid Planner. I'm here on the Projects tab of my workspace, and I'm going to add a new project to my Active Projects package. I'll come up to the Add menu and choose Add Project. I'll enter my project information, and then I'll click Add. When I do, the new project I've just created appears over here on the left. That's my motion sensor upgrade project. To the right, the edit panel for this project has opened. For right now, the only thing I'm going to edit on this project is to associate it to a client from the client field here. This project is for my client Acme Electronics. When appropriate, it helps to associate your projects to clients because that allows you to do plan analysis and filtering by client. So there's my project. Let's get my tasks in. With the project selected, I'll go back to the Add menu and I'll choose to add a task. I'll give my task a name, and then I'll assign the task owner here. Now, one of the most important things you want to do when you create a task is estimate it. So I'll say that I think that I can get this task done in 12 hours, but it could take me up to 18 hours. That's just my best guess for now. It's really important to remember that what I'm estimating here is effort, not calendar duration. I'm not saying anything about when I will do this work. I'm just saying I still have to put in 12 to 18 hours of actual effort to get this task done. To add multiple tasks, I can click here to add another row. You can add up to 50 items at a time. So I'll go ahead and build out the rest of my tasks for this project, including the task owner and estimates for each task. Once I've got all my tasks here, I'll click here to add them to my project. Let's take a look at the first task in my project. Now that I've told Liquid Planner who is working on this task and how much effort it's going to take to complete the task, you'll see that Liquid Planner has calculated the expected start and finish dates for me. The next thing I'm going to do is get a checklist going for this task. So I'll click on the checklist icon at the top. That scrolls me down to the checklist section of the edit panel. A checklist allows you to break your task down into smaller individual steps. So I'll say the first thing we need to do is draft the tech spec, then we need to draft the design document, and then we review the spec and the design document. You'll notice that by default, checklist items are assigned to all owners. You can actually assign them to other people. Since I know that Jack is going to do the review, I'll just drop into this assignment field for the checklist item and assign it to Jack. Now, here's something important to keep in mind. Estimates are not tied to checklist items. So, that means that Jack's availability isn't being allocated to do this review work. So if there's a significant amount of effort involved in getting this work done, I'd want to add Jack as an owner on this task or create a separate review task for him. Now, you can arrange your checklist items via drag and drop, and don't forget to check them off when you're done working with them. The next thing I want to do is break this project up into phases. For that, I'll use subfolders. So with the blue project selected again, I'll go back to the Add menu, and this time I'll select Subfolder. I'll just put in the names of my subfolders, click Add, and there they are. They've dropped to the bottom of my project. The last thing I need to do is distribute my tasks into the appropriate phase subfolders. So I'll hold down the shift key to select these first three tasks. These are my phase one tasks, and I'll get them into my subfolder via easy drag and drop. And now those tasks live in the phase one subfolder. The other three tasks belong in phase two. So again, I'll hold down the shift key to select them all. This time I'll show you a different way to move them from the edit panel. This is reminding me that I have three tasks selected meaning any edit I make is going to apply to these three selected tasks. The change I want to make is the folder that they live in. So I'll drop into the project folder field, choose phase two, click OK, and when I refresh, I now see that those tasks have moved into the phase two subfolder. And that's it. Our motion sensor upgrade project is created. We're ready to move on to scheduling.